kids rooms are by far the most fun space in the home to decorate. But to ensure you get this room right, there are still a few design rules you need to follow. To find out more, I'm joined by Jacinta Evans from Metricon and Mel Brady from Snooze, and we're gonna show you how to make kids' rooms amazing. Jacinta and Mel, kids' rooms can be so much fun to decorate, but people can often get tripped up or stuck in terms of where to start. I think a great one, Chris, is keeping it quite neutral. You know, really going with a neutral palette like we've done here with the blacks and the whites and adding in a bit of pastel. I think it keeps it a bit more timeless and allows for your child to sort of grow with it from, you know, maybe even a nursery up until sort of later child. Longevity is obviously really important from a functionality point of view, Mel, and there are some fantastic pieces here from Snooze that are really sturdy and durable. Absolutely. The vibe bed that we're featuring here in this room is one of my favourites. It's super sturdy and also the bedside tables that we're featuring in this mm. room as well, they're going to take a little bit of bashing around by our kids. Mm. In terms of getting the kids involved in the decorating process, how do you strike the right balance there? I think definitely you need to get your kids involved, you know, knowing their favourite colours, but I think it's also being mindful not to overstyle too much, you know, still keeping it simple because kids change what they like every single day. I'm noticing over time that kids' rooms are becoming more subdued and less colourful. Is it the same for you too? Um, I, look, I think so, but having said that, um, primary colours are always going to be strong, your brights, yeah. your navies, your reds, your yellows, um, limes and oranges. It really, it comes back to what we talked about before, about the kids' choice. Is it great to think of out-of-the-box ideas when it comes to kids' rooms as well, or to decorate versatile pieces that can grow with them over time? I think so. I tend to style a lot with um, using bookshelves on the wall, I think is a great idea. It's a great styling tip as well to add, you know, picture frames or um, little knickknacks. And even using books and opening them up can kind of create their own sort of um, pictures, I suppose, and artwork. That brings me on to the point of budget. What are some really budget friendly ways to make kids' rooms amazing? I think a great way is introducing a feature wall. So if you want to keep it a little bit more budget friendly, you could definitely look at adding in some wall decor stickers, introduce some beautiful cactuses or some love hearts or something like that and still create a whole feature wall out of that. And the great thing about the Metricon website is that there's also an inspirations tab where you can filter by kids' rooms. And Mel, the great thing about the Snooze website is that similarly, loads of inspiration for bedrooms. Absolutely.